Real Talk Reaction. This one is for 30 Rock, Season 3, Episode Number 7. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell as well. Tell a friend to tell a friend. You know how we do it. We watch TV shows and movies, amongst other things. Thank you. Uh, a couple comments from the last episode, starting with executive producer E, who says, I really enjoy the parts with Jack and his mother in this episode. Also, I've never been able to do so, but I would love to participate in something like the Toys for the Wishlist to Santa. However, first, sorry, call coming through. Uh, first of all, I don't think I would get as involved as Liz Lemon. I love how Tracy always uses her full name. And second, probably because of the first, I wouldn't feel a need to find out where the toys are going. However, I do understand her doubt. When I used to frequent Starbucks at the holiday season, they would sometimes have wish list items pinned up to their board, and I'd look at them and be like, oh, this kid wants a set of Elsa and Anna dolls. That's about $40. This kid they said they wanted some Ninjango or Minecraft Lego set. I think you can get that around $50 for the middle price ones. Oh, this kid wants a new iPad. Good luck, kid. Wish someone would just come along and give me a new iPad. Maybe I'm terrible for thinking this, but when I hopefully finally get a job that's in my chosen career field, I might want to spend up to $200 for kids in need, but the only kid I'm getting a new iPad for is myself. Mm. Hope I'm not completely alone and selfish in that regard. Either way, great episode and great reaction. I'll be looking forward to more. Okay. The only uh, the only kid we're spoiling with things like that is Jalen. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, I feel ya. All right, executive producer JoJo says, uh, love the new tagline for the algorithm. That's oh. all you, baby. That's all you. Thank you. Thanks for the shout-out and recognition, JoJo. Yep. Appreciate it. All right, let's get to episode seven right now. Did you hear? Yeah. Is your brother going to be okay? Oh, no, not that. A new movie about Janis Joplin is going into production, and Shineheart Universal is making it. I know Jack can get me an audition, so I'm going to storm into his office in character. Oh, Liz, I knew you'd be happy for me. Somebody's sleeping. I am sleepy. But I'm also <laughs> so excited. Hey, Max, is this your baby sister? Oh, my cute little... Believe me, I got somebody who's gonna watch me die. Tracy, let's not get emotional. <laughs> this is Dr. Jack. You can stay and you can leave, but it's gonna take a while. Oh, yeah! Oh. What's happening, Jack? Uh, Liz, Jenna got the lead in the Janis Joplin biopic that I'm co-producing, and I want her to open the next show with a song from the movie. Oh, come on, Jack. You can't fight synergy limits bigger than all of us. Nice dress. Are you going to dinner? Don't forget your book. I'll have you know that I'm having dinner with a man. So, Stuart, what is it like living under a bridge? Can it! Hey, Liz. <laughs> I was just telling him about my apartment in Williamsburg. Under the bridge. Uh oh. Uh, <laughs> they still have that? I could have sworn they turned that building into a Barnes and Noble. Like you guys in corporate America are doing any better? Have you learned how to say, do you want fries with that in Chinese? <laughs> Check that out. <laughs> <laughs> for a television a microwave. I love it. Him. Stuart LaGrange, you and I commission on water temperature and food taint. Uh, how did you? Oh. Lemon me. Morning, everyone. Are you all right? You're looking very pale. I'm fine. I had a good hour of sleep last night, took a few showers. Is there anything you want to talk about? I am a nurse. Let's tell you. Yeah. It's embarrassing. <laughs> More embarrassing than your CD collection? I didn't know Michael Bublé had so many albums. If you I... must know, I found a lump. On your testicle? Let me see it. Mira, aquí la que lo tiene en otro soy yo, porque What? esto puede ser muy peligroso y te tengo You're que checar el so testículo. Fast. Esto no es una broma. Is that the subjunctive? How did you do that? I told you I was a professional. And you forgot to put on your underpants. So, uh, any big plans for your day off? I'm going to Prospect Park. It's my goddaughter's quinceañera. Quinceañera. Stuart, it's me. Uh, look, Liz, I'm really busy right now. I just wanted to... Okay. But for whatever reason... If I don't see you there... Take care, Liz Lemon. You too. Oh, and can you transfer me to the Italian ambassador's office? Because I'd like to make it a prank a phone call. Please hold. I like it, look at the I like it that I was like, yeah, I got you. Jack. Hey. 
What are you doing here? I wanted to come by and thank you for all your help. I wasn't sure what you were serving, so I bought a 65 Moet and some pizza blast. Thank you. The test was positive. No, 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 no. I mean positive like it's good. The test results were negative. Oh, I see your confusion. That is funny. <laughs> episode right there. Love our guest appearances by our Game of Thrones guy. I can't remember his name. I always name. forget his name too. Yeah, Peter Dinklage, I think it is. Something like Some, that. that does yeah, sound uh, right. and then of course, you know, my girl from way back, Selma Height. Um, great job on this one. Seems like she might be Jack's new love interest. I, I'm digging that. Let's do mm -hmm. that. See how long that can last. She also helping with his mom, so that will work out as well. Uh, so, I mean, I think that would just be hilarious. Because we see her comedy right there. Just like, she do what she got to do. And so, I hope that's a good addition to the show. And that, that will make for some good times. But I thought this episode was pretty good. Can't wait to see another one. Um, I thought uh, Peter Stewart's role especially was such a standout. He was just immediately He's charming. Always like good. he is Every just so good. I love him so much. I'm almost disappointed that it didn't work out longer because it feels like we just got a little taste of it and he can go all the way in that yeah. sense. So but it was great. Um, again, kudos to you guys for not giving any of the spoilers away as far as who uh, who the celebrities will be and uh, when they'll pop up. So that's really great that it's always a surprise. I love Salma. She's like one of my uh, long time crushes. She is so freaking gorgeous. Loved her in this role. Loved the aspect of her potentially being a new love interest for uh, for Jack. And I can't wait to see how that plays out. Um, but the MVP definitely goes to Stuart or Peter. That was freaking hilarious and so well done. And I didn't see that coming at all. So I love that. Uh, mm -hmm. But good episode. I look forward to the next one. All right, well, look, thank you guys again for watching another Real Talk Reaction 430 Rock Season 3, Episode Number 7. And until next time, people, 